the United Nations. Now, previously, we had seen reports of things going on in Haiti, talking about how organizations like the Red Cross got about a half a billion dollars and built about six homes in, uh, in Haiti, and then they've set up some tents and were teaching people how to wash hands, but everybody's like, well, where'd all the money go? Now we're talking about Haiti in a different light. The United Nations went down there, and they have their employees, workers, whatever you call them, engaging in sexual activity with the locals. UN, sex exploitation by peacekeepers strongly underreported. And this is a report that is due to be released sometime later this month. And it says, a year ago, the report says, investigators interviewed 231 people in Haiti who said that they had transactional sexual relations with UN peacekeepers. For rural women, hunger, lack of shelter, baby care items, medication, and household items were frequently cited as the triggering needs, the report says. So basically, they were having sex for, I guess, not money, but other things. Even says uh, laptops and cell phones. I'm not sure how well that worked, but uh, these are the charges brought against these people. And, and we've seen the U UN involved in all types of stuff, cocaine shipments to the UN building and all that stuff. And they said, well, we don't know who ordered this cocaine. <laughs> Just all these wild allegations. And yeah, the UN does a lot of good stuff. They try to help a lot of people. But remember, it's also the UN who is putting vaccinations in the uh, arms of little Syrian children. That was the World Health Organization, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And many of those children die. And you won't hear about that here in the United States of America. They just want to say everything the UN does is great and good, but they don't want to talk about these incidents that go on. And once again, the UN does a lot of good stuff. There's plenty of stuff I don't agree with. The UN uh, Arms Trade Treaty, they're trying to take away your firearms. Like I said, the kids in Syria. So we can't turn a blind eye to these things. They also need to be held accountable for these actions.